Displaced persons in Mali benefit from Japan's kindness. The government of Japan gave 3 million US dollars to the United Nations World Food Program or WFP, aiding 100,000 people in northern and central Mali who recently had to leave their homes. These are individuals affected by conflict who would normally support themselves by farming but are now reliant on humanitarian aid. WFP will distribute vouchers that migrants and their host communities can use to obtain food items at local shops. According to its new strategic plan for the country, WFP will supply six months of basic nutrition for newly displaced persons. Japan is a shining world leadership awards for compassion, animal protection and generosity laureate. Many thanks Japan and World Food Program for your thoughtful and dedicated service to those in need. May the hard-working people of Mali soon experience bountiful days and peaceful nights in heaven's uplifting grace. Pyongyang's sustainable development to be enhanced by the United Nations. Seoul plans to provide 4.9 million US dollars over six years to the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific. The agency has earmarked the funds for advancing Pyongyang's awareness of global standards with regards to data and statistics. It is expected that this knowledge will facilitate Pyongyang's future integration into the international community and promote the creation of a unified Korean market as well. Our sincere appreciation, Seoul and United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific, May your laudable and forward-thinking endeavor hasten the advent of a united Korea as the world enters an era of loving solidarity in the divine's eternal light. The last power plant in Sweden using coal has been shut down. Utility company Stockholm Exergy announced the permanent closure of the facility two years ahead of schedule. Sweden is one of the three European countries that have gone coal-free, following Belgium in 2016 and Austria in 2020. Meanwhile, Stockholm Exergy says it will focus on producing energy that does not add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, while also pursuing climate solutions that will remove CO2 from the air. Could Sweden on deleting coal from your energy mix in nurturing celestial light May you stay the course and soon attain your climate goals, becoming an ecological model for the rest of the world. Native American Relief Fund receives donations from the Irish. In March 2020, a GoFundMe page was set up by members of the Navajo Nation and the Hopi Nation to help their communities deal with the coronavirus pandemic. The organizers were surprised at first to see hundreds of thousands of dollars coming from donors in Ireland but it became evident that the Irish still remember the financial assistance they received from the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma, USA, in 1847 during the Irish potato famine. Such is the magnitude of true love and gratitude unrestrained by space or time. Our hearts are warmed, citizens of Ireland, by your oneness and generous support of the Native Americans. May the Navajo and Hopi nations be blessed with resilience, justice and peace in the embrace of the providence. 13-year-old girl in Gaza holds classes for local youngsters. When schools closed in the spring of 2020 due to COVID-19, Fajal Hamed was inspired to offer instructions to neighborhood children at her family's house. At first, there were only four students learning Arabic, English and math. Now they are 15. The expiring teacher is aware of the role that education plays in improving communication and promoting dialogue. Speaking of the future, Karen Fajal said, Our area is a marginalized one, so I want to open my own educational center and help the people of my community be successful. We applaud your nobility and wisdom, Fajal Hamed. May your dreams come true as you assist the next generation of Palestinians to achieve their full potential in the overflowing love of Allah. Former heavyweight champion says going plant-based changed his life. In 2005, after winning 50 of his career's 58 competitions, Mike Tyson of the United States retired from professional boxing. Unfortunately, his weight started to increase, and when he topped 171 kilograms in 2009, he 
he was diagnosed as clinically obese. When Mr. Tyson switched to a vegan diet in 2010, his blood pressure went down, his arthritis was relieved, and he eventually lost more than 45 kilograms. In May 2020, the athlete revealed that he is training again and would like to box exhibition matches for charity. Reflecting on his transformation, Mr. Tyson said, Turning vegan helped me eliminate all those problems in my life, and added, I'm in the best shape ever. Congratulations, Mike Tyson, on regaining your health and physique. May your awakening to compassionate eating be an inspiration to people the world over in heaven's elevating grace. Brazilians on lockdown adopt animals via social media and city provides delivery. A shelter run by Rio de Janeiro City Hall has hundreds of animals that need forever homes. With the outbreak of COVID-19, the facility had to restrict visitors but realized there were citizens living alone in quarantine who would really benefit from having a furry friend. So in April 2020, the shelter started accepting adoption applications online. Applicants are vetted through an interview and when they make their preferences known, a shelter worker suggests the most suitable companions. Selected animals are neutered and vaccinated before being chauffeured to their new homes. In the first month alone, more than 50 compatible matches were made. We are glad to de Janeiro by your creative win-win solution. May these newfound relationships spread more love and joy throughout your impressive city in the gracious benevolence of the divine. 